structure pathology and in the sub division we have this is genetic disorder genetic disorder okay and today's topic of discussion is uh, what you call um, is the familial hyper colas colas tiruloma cholesterolemia okay hypercholesterolemia so this is a very important topic for usml step 1 and step 2 ck examination guys so let me talk about this and this is um, about this that um, this familial hypercholesterolemia is uh, what you call is a most common uh, what you call inherited disorder is a most common inherited disorder tell me it's uh, whether it's uh, what you call um, it's autosomal dominant autosomal recessive ex linked or what's um, what's a genetic uh, this is this is autosomal it's a tell me it's autosomal dominant remember it's a autosomal dominant and the most common inherited disorder one in 500 nearly okay guys so now what's the defect where does the defect lie in this uh, what you call familial hypercholesterolemia remember in your simple examination they will give if they give the history of mi that's a myocardial infarction in uh, in in second decade of his life or late teens right so try to think of hypercholesterolemia familial hypercholesterolemia as a cause for it okay so the defect over here the defect is you know very well the defect over here is mutation in ldl low density lipoprotein receptor gene receptor gene okay uh, this gene is located on chromosome 19 remember chromosome 19 okay that's why 19 remember so that's why the mi is common in the age of 19 years remember this is what you can make a small mnemonic for it okay guys so the the important thing what you have to remember about this is the classes it has a five classes okay so now let's talk before talking about the classes let me tell you what happens when there is a mutation of ldl receptors what happens let's talk about this so for example like we have ldl receptors what happens when there is a mutation of ldl receptors mutation of ldl receptors okay right what happens now ldl receptors when they are mutated the following things will take place one is increased level of circulating increased blood cholesterol cholesterol okay the so the, no, the more cholesterol is located in more circulated in the blood okay and there is a loss of feedback inhibition feedback inhibition feedback loss of feedback inhibition of what you call most important rate limiting enzyme in mevalonate pathway that's hmg coa reductase hmg coa coenzyme a reductase okay guys so there is a loss of feedback inhibitions what happens the, let me brief you with this uh, uh, sci what you call a pathway there's a acetyl coa right acetyl coa and acetoacetyl coa i'm just what do you call um sh shortening it acetoacetyl coa right they form what you call ultimately they form mevalonate okay mevalonate right mevalonate right so this mevalonate ultimately it causes what you call formation of a cholesterol 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 right okay this is a simple pathway i'm talking about here to understand okay so now what happens is the enzyme hmg coa reductase acts over here hmg coa reductase hmg coa reductase acts over here okay so it acts over here and it uh, what's it called it's a rate limiting enzyme in the synthesis of mevalonate ultimately cholesterol so what the you know the important drug there is a 
when there's a mutation of the LDR receptors, this causes loss of feedback inhibition of HMG coA reductase. So ultimately, what happens? The cholesterol level increases in the blood. So there is no one to inhibit its synthesis. So it keeps on synthesis synthesizing what you call um, uh, cholesterol. Okay. So there's no feedback inhibition. Remember, there's no. Uh, there's, sorry, there's what you call this loss of feedback inhibition in HMG coA reductase loss of feedback inhibition not the loss of enzyme it's a loss of feedback inhibition of HMG coA reductase so that's why the membrane keep on synthesis the cholesterol increases and ultimately it leads to atherosclerosis and MI can results right so that we have a drug that is known as a, tell me the which drug that inhibits what you call HMG coA reductase it's a statins remember statins are the drug the class of uh, hypolipidemic drugs that uh, inhibits was the HMG coA reductase and helps in the what you call the reduction in the synthesis of cholesterol or inhibits the synthesis of cholesterol so this is how the um, when there's a mutation of uh, LDR receptors takes place the following things change place one is increase in the blood cholesterol and there's a loss of feedback inhibition of HMG coA reductase as you know acetyl coA acetyl coA then forms a mevalinate from the mevalinate ultimately forms the cholesterol and this and the enzyme rate limiting enzyme over here is a HMG coA reductase. So this helps in the conversion of acetyl acetyl coA to mevalinate. When there is a loss of inhibition to this, ultimately the there is no one to inhibit the synthesis of cholesterol, and cholesterol keeps on synthesizing, right? So this is hypercholesterolemia. Now there is a third cause third thing that happens when there is a mutation of LDL receptors that is increased phagocytosis of LDL by macrophages increased phagocytosis phagocytosis of LDL by macrophages okay guys so very important. So three things that takes place when there is a mutation in the LDL receptors. That's an increased level of circulating cholesterol, loss of feedback inhibition of HMG coA reductase, and increased phagocytosis of LDL by macrophages. Okay, right. So now let, let's talk about the five major classes of mutations. What happens? Five major classes. Five major classes. Okay, five major classes. So which are this class one? Class one okay the class one so the class one no ldl remember this is really very important for usml step one examination no ldl receptor synthesis receptor synthesis okay guys in a class two we have what you call defect in transportation out of the endoplasmic reticulum defect in transportation we can call it as okay defect in the transportation of out of the endoplasmic reticulum so remember so it's a defect in that transportation in a class 2 in a class 3 we have defect in ldl receptor binding ldl receptor binding so okay right one is no ldl receptor synthesis two is defect in transportation out of the endoplasmic reticulum that's why the full process of uh, what you call uh, LDL uh, process will not take place and the third is a defect in LDL receptor binding and in a fourth class sorry I have to write like this right in a fourth class we have defect in ability to internalize bound LDL in ability to internalize bound LDL bound LDL defect in inability to internalize bound LDL that's very simple right in the last class that's the fifth class is a defect in the recycling of LDL receptors defect in recycling recycling of LDL receptors. I said LDL receptors. Okay, guys. So this is really very important. 
So now how the presentation will be? As you know, there will be as elevated serum cholesterol. So the presentation here will be the patient will have high levels of cholesterol. If they are heterozygotes, heterozygotes they will have elevation two to three times the normal level. If they are homozygous, they have much higher than that. That's nearly five to six times the normal level. Okay, guys, the other clinical features they will have it. And that is important for USML step one examination and step two CK is they will have skin xanthomas, skin xanthomas. So remember this is a collection of the lipid laden macrophages. Uh, so you can Google the images and you can see uh, lipid laden ma macrophages, skin xanthomas, and we have xantholesma around the eyes. Xantholesma around the eyes. This is an eye. And they will around the eyes okay that's it and the premature atherosclerosis very important thing is try to remember the patient of a, um, if they, they are late teens like a 19 years 20 years or 25 years they will develop a MI that is a heart attack that's known as a, what you call a myocardial infarction and they will ask you the, the, the what you call a diagnosis then think of a familial hypercholesterolemia okay guys I hope this is this video was really very helpful for you and I'm sure you're gonna like the video and I'm sure you're gonna subscribe to our channel please do share our videos with your friends put this link in your YouTube okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care